CIET NCERT presents audiobook Looking Around Textbook of Environmental Studies for Class 3 Page number 30 Chapter 5 Chotu's House Chotu came to Mumbai for the first time There is a picture given on page number 30 divided into four parts in part 1 chotu is looking around the city in the second part it started raining heavily and there are three kids all are trying to escape from the rain by taking shelter or running in the third part chotu has taken shelter in a big round cemented pipe lying on the road side In the fourth picture Chotu has converted the pipe area and the surrounding area into three different parts one is cooking area second is sleeping area and the third one is washing area page number 31 there is a picture given on page number 31 this picture is divided into two parts in part 1 Another boy named Monu has come to Mumbai and Chotu is looking at him. In the second and last picture, Chotu has invited Monu to live with him in the pipe. They are sitting together and talking to each other. Study the pictures carefully and answer these questions. A. What did Chotu think? when he looked at the pipe b how did chotu use the pipe c into which parts did chotu divide the pipe and its surrounding area d in which part of this house will chotu like to spend most of his time e why do you think chotu invited monu to live with him in the pipe note a discussion on when a house becomes a home will help to clarify the difference between a house and a home page number 32 draw a picture of your house in your notebook and color it 1 who all live with you in your house 2 Chotu divided the pipe into different parts write the names of the different parts of your house 3 How much time in a day do you spend in each part of your house 4 Is there any part of your house where a particular member of your family spends more time 5 Is there any part of your house where a particular family member never goes or goes for a short time? You must have seen that some animals also live with us in our houses. Some of these animals live with us because we want them to, while some are there uninvited. Note: It is important to talk to children about their houses sensitively. There are different kinds of houses. This has been kept in mind and hence instead of rooms we have used parts of a house. That some family members go or do not go to certain parts of the house reflect the family traditions and gender biases. Page number 33. Home sweet home. You always tell me mother the house belongs only to us but how do i believe that mother when i know it belongs to many more look mother how these mice are all playing catch catch together and look how these mosquitoes fly and how peaceful lies the happy spider and look mother at the lazy lizard how slowly it crawls to and fro and look at so many black ants 
all marching in a row. And look outside in the courtyard. The birds are all pecking about. Just like when my sister and I sometimes fight, quarrel and shout. That is why I say dear mother, don't think this house is only ours. It's dear to us and all who live here and have been living for many years. Do you know, rats have poor eyesight but have excellent sense of smell, touch and taste. Translated from Hindi, Bacha Toli, Bharat Gyan Vigyan Samiti Page number 34 1. Draw pictures of any two animals that live in a house uninvited. Write their names below the pictures. There is a blank space given, divided into two parts. Draw pictures of any two animals that live in our houses uninvited. Write their names below the pictures. 2. Do you keep your house clean? How? There is a blank space given here. Write down how you keep your house clean. 3. Who all help to keep your house clean? 4. Where do you go to freshen up in the morning? 5. Where do you throw the garbage of your house? Page number 35 6. Is the area around your house clean? 7. Do you use a toilet in or around your house? 8. Who cleans it? 9. How do you help in keeping it clean? Use of toilet Simi noticed that her friend Billu was getting uncomfortable. He was not talking to her. Simi Billu, what happened? You look so dull. Billu I don't know. How to use the toilet properly? Hira ma'am would be on her round and again she would scold me as usual for not using the toilet properly. Simi Why don't you use the toilet properly then? Billu I am scared that I would fall in the toilet pit. Simi How stupid! And now I know it is you and many of our friends like you who make our toilets so dirty by not using the toilet properly. Don't be scared. Be responsible. Let us now see how to be responsible. Use the toilet by sitting properly. Always flush it with water after use. Wash yourself properly. Wash your hands thoroughly. Page number 36 Leave the toilet as clean as you want it for yourself. There are two pictures given on page number 36. In the first picture, the toilet pit is being cleaned by flushing it. And in the second picture, the toilet pit is being cleaned by throwing water in it. Did you know? For Gandhiji's 150th birthday, the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan was launched. It is to help us realize that cleanliness is everyone's duty and responsibility. 1. Describe the toilet area in your school. 2. Is it clean? 3. Who cleans it and how? 4. How do you help in it? From now, Billu used the toilet responsibly. He left it clean after its use and washed his hands. 1. Do you leave the toilet as clean as you want it for yourself? 2. Enlist the times when you wash hands. 3. When do you think your hands get dirty? 4. 
When all do you need to keep yourself clean? A. Bathing and brushing teeth. B. Clipping the nails regularly. Page number 37. There are two blank spaces given here. Write how you keep yourself clean in these blank spaces. What will happen if we do not do the above? There is a picture of Lata's house given on page number 37. Lata has decorated her house's entrance with a beautiful rangoli and a flower hanging. Look how beautifully Lata's house is decorated. Is there any special way in which you decorate your house? When and how? Ask your friends when and how they decorate their houses. Name the things with which you decorate your house. Note, in the lesson, each child has been asked how her or his house is decorated at various occasions. Talking to the children about the ways in which their houses are decorated brings out how we use locally available materials during celebrations or festivals. Chapter 5 Chotu's house ends here. You were just listening to the audiobook Looking Around, textbook in Environmental Studies for Class 3, recorded by Butelang Lingdo and Vikas Sangwan, production assistance by Meenakshi Kukreti, produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary, presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India